Morning, everyone. We are in Hukachina. Uh, we just had breakfast. We're getting our stuff all packed up here, getting all the files backed up, transferred. We had a great dinner last night, uh, great rest. It was cold. Well, it was warm once we got in. Julia, but tell them about the shower. Uh, there's no hot water. Like, like any at all? No. Yeah. No. So that was a little rough in it. Uh, a lot of the reviews actually said it might be not be. In their defense, they heat the water by sun, not by electricity. So if there's no sun, no fun. So we are getting our stuff packed up and our taxi is coming here at 10 so we can rendezvous with everybody else. Got it. Tickle, tickle, tickle here. Uh, so we can rendezvous with the bus at 10.15 and get on to our next city. But what are we gonna to see today? Uh, first we'll go to Winery, spend some time there, then we'll go to see Nazca Lines. Uh, spend there. But what's Nazca Lines? People don't understand these words. Uh, Nazca Lines are the historic part of the country where, uh, so you can see, the best way to see the lines uh, from the helicopter. Which so these, caused, are, these are these ancient drawn yes, lines yes, on the desert floor. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's a little pricey. Some people are doing it. That's like 90 yeah. bucks, right? Yeah, for the per plane, person. Per person to go up on the plane. So you can go fly around, see these lines on the desert floor. I have an eagle, I think one of them were a bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some other things. And like you are here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes, and then after that, we'll have a long trip to Arequipa. Overnight. Yes. When, so our day started today when we woke up. It will end, our travel day will end tomorrow at around 5, 5 a.m. Yes. 5 so you know what this reminds me of actually? 5 yes. Remember our trip in Vietnam? No, from Laos I don't to want Vietnam. To, I don't want to recapture all of that. That was, <laughs> that was a fun time. Yeah. That was supposed to be a 24-hour trip. Turned into like almost like 30, 30. something, 32. Yeah. Started at like 6 p.m. Went all the way to like 8 p.m. the next night. Eight or yeah. nine the next night. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of travel delay on that one. Yes, but we are gonna book the hotel. We'll stay there for two nights. Uh, we'll have to have a little bit of rest, but also do as much as we can because it's. A lot of people say that it's the most beautiful city in Peru. Ooh. You mean Lima doesn't top that? <laughs> no, that's the locals say it. You yeah. know, if locals say it, must, must be, be true. true. Just like that hot water we're gonna have tonight. All right, so that's it for right now. We're gonna get packed up, get moving along. And I'm already taking charcoal pills. <laughs> that's, that's all we're going to say. Yeah. So keep watching and make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks. Well, we're vamanos. Adios. <clears throat> we're doing pretty good today. We're waiting for our taxi now. He's on his way. Going to check out. And this was our hotel back here. Not a bad spot. Lots of parking for your car, motorbike, tennis shoes, whatever else you want to bring, your llamas, horses, donkeys. Yeah, so our taxi's here. Nice little pool up there. You're on a skinny dip at night. All right, no hot water though. They don't got that. Nope. Only in your tea or your coffee. Not even tea. Not even tea. <laughs> Julia's favorite dog right there. You need to clip your nails there, buddy. Yeah, they do. You okay? There's our car. Bye-bye, boy. Or girl. There we are, right there. Hola! The push or pull okay. situation, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Oh, Yama. I don't know. I did the bottom. Oh, she's Jesse, you're not a very good criminal. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but I took the process. Oh. 
Oh, so classic. <laughs> All right. We're on the bus. Let's get started. Pallets and pallets of wine bottles. Well, we made it to the vineyard here. Everyone's checking their lunch. Julia's over there looking pretty. So we'll be here for about two hours. Options to try some wine, Peruvian wine. Yeah. And then we'll have some lunch. We ordered the chicken and rice. Yeah. And uh, that's about it. So everyone right now is just looking at the menu, getting everything ready. And we'll be going in here. Yeah. United States. Confuses people that aren't from America. Canada. Alright. So guys, uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is your first time here in, in Ica, so welcome to, to Ica. You know, the, the full name of the city is Ica, the city of the eternal sun. It's really hot in this country, this, this city. Uh, right now, it is winter, alright? Do we have a really sunny day? So that's why the name. Alright, so. Let's begin. You are right now in a little uh, empty swimming pool, right? And this is called uh, Lagar, right? So all the grapes we're going to use, we're going to put it in oh. here. And we're going to smash grapes with the feet, without shoes. We're going to dance on that is called Festejo, right? It's an Afro-Peruvian dance. It's a traditional dance. So we're going to dance uh, Festejo. We smash grapes and we obtain the juice, right? The juice is called Mosto. I know when I tell this to the people, they don't want to drink anymore. Because they think the, the drinks they have they are made with, with feet, right? No, right? So this process we don't do it anymore because it's really tough to do it, right? It actually is not really clean. Alright, so all the, the muscle goes to that, that little hole to mix it here. So once it's there, we're going to take it out and we're going to put all the muscle in jars like those. You can see that. So those jars are called boticas and mosteras, right? I mean, the name is boticas. We call it mosteras because of the muscle. Alright, so we put all the muscle there and we have to wait for one month uh, to month and a half, more or less, depends on how, how quickly the fermentation is going. So, we have to wait, we don't have to add anything, no sugar in it, because the, the premium grapes contain a lot of sugar, right? So, compared to a, a grape from Italy, for example, this contains this one is sugar, more or less, and premium grapes contain this one, right? It contains more sugar. So that's why we don't need to add you know, something extra. We just put all the muscle there and we wait, that's it. Alright, so we obtain the wine, Okay, once the fermentation finished, we take it out, we clean that product, and we can already sell it, right? It's something really, really fast compared to other countries, for example, Italy, Spain, you know, France. So, the good thing about it is that it's a process, it's a really short process. Um, the bad thing about it is that it's drinkable just for two years and a half, and then it's not drinkable anymore. So, you gotta be really careful with this because some people they want to keep the bottle for years, and actually, that's not a really good idea here, right? Because it's not gonna be drinkable. Alright, guys, so. I brought a question here. Of course, you have tried white, right? Yeah. So, have you tried pisco? Raise your hand if you have tried pisco. Pure pisco, just pure. Alright? So, some of, you, some of you never ever have tried pisco. Pure pisco. Right? 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 So, today we're going to try pisco. We're going to learn how to drink it, right? Because I guess you try pisco sour, right? Okay, it's, uh, that's cocktail. So, have you tried chicano? 
Yeah, right, Chicano, it's uh, it's uh, also cocktail, actually it's the easiest one to pray you can do it by yourself, and you're going to learn how to do it, right? So guys, before going to the physical process, uh, I need to know if you have any questions, maybe something that is not really clean, or something you want to know. What do you say? What kind of grapes are you having outside? Right. So through the Peruvian grapes, we have, to, we have eight kind of grapes, right? So we can make pisco from all of them, right? So, but we but we can we can create wine just for a few, right? For example, the most famous one is the Borgoña. It's a, it's a really it's a really famous drink. Actually, what I'm doing, I'm trying it right now. There is some exceptions. For example, the Italia is the name of the grape. It's really sweet. We use it for wines and we use it for pisco. Actually, the, the Italian pisco is, is really, it's really good. It's very mad. right? So yeah, we have eight kind of grapes. We can do, we can make great pisco from all of them, right? Do you make blended or only? We got, we have uh, one kind. Of, yeah, we have the the rosé. I think you have tried that. The rosé is a, it's a combination of grapes, right? So yeah, we do it like that. And achilado actually is also a combination of grapes. So you're gonna try. We're gonna try that one. The actual last, right? The, yeah, because we have three different kind of pieces. We're going to play a little bit more the the pistol for this, all right? So, do we have another question? We are in the family of wines or in the family of grapes? We're in the family of wines. Wines and yeah. wines. Yeah. What's the source of your water to grow the grapes here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people, they, they are a little curious about the, about this because Ica basically is a this. Yeah, I know. We have, we have water on the ground. Yeah, we have a lot of water there. I mean, right now the, the water is is not that much as as it passed, so we're we're, we're dealing with that. Uh, but yeah, right now it's it's not a problem because we continue to have a, some a good quantity of water under the water. Yeah. So it's a well, a deeper well. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, it's a little strange to have a lot of a lot of plants and, and fruits and everything because it guys this you know. You have been in Wakachina, I guess. Yeah, it's a desert, so. So yeah, I know I know why you're a little surprised about it. Uh, I don't know if you're going to go to Nazca. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no? See, some of you are going to are going to go to Nazca, right? Yeah. Nazca is also a desert, right? And actually there's a there's a little history about it because the Nazca culture is really, really famous because of the way they of they use to obtain water, right? And actually these these jars are from the Nazca culture because they, they need to keep the water in somewhere. So Ica have a lot of earthquakes. So that's why they used to put all the water there, right? So yeah, you're gonna learn a little uh, about it in the Nazca culture, right? But yeah, yeah, we have the uh, water on the yeah. Right, guys. Uh, hello. Do you do we have another question? No. All right. So just to summarize, uh, here is here we have the beginning of the process, right? We smash grapes, we obtain the juice. That's going to be the fermentation. Once the fermentation is over, we obtain wine, and that's it. It's something um, easy, so to speak. Because you can do it by yourself, right? To make the pisco, that's the distillation. We're going to see that in a second. So if there's no more questions, let's go to the door and let's go to the door. Okay. Can you get a little close? Once we already have the wine, you know, this competition just finished. We put all the wine here. Uh, this works just like a Italian pot, for example, right? So basically, we're going to boil the wine, as you can see, with wooden fire. The steam goes through this little kind, and to that part we call serpentine, right? So all that little pool is going to be full of water. That's going to condense, and then we create a new product, a new liquid, right? So that new product is going to come out from there, continuously, for 12, 12 hours. And that product is going to be divided into three parts, known as the head, the body, and the tail. Right? So the head contains from 80 to 90 percentage of alcohol. If you drink that, you could die or you could get blind. Right? So none of them are really good idea for you. So don't drink. Actually, it's illegal to sell it. So the second part that comes out is uh, the pisco, the body. We can drink it and we can sell it. Right? Contains from 38 to 48 percentage of alcohol. And the last part that comes out is the tail. So the tail, the tail contains water and alcohol that's combined. It that contains from 10 to 12 percentage of alcohol. It's not enough to consider as pisco, so we don't we don't we don't sell it. We just use it to clean this area or to clean the pit before before people is going to dance over the grapes, right? So as I told you, we have 
three different kind of fish foods. The first one is the secure fish food, just contains one kind of fruit. The second one is a cholado, that contains at least three kind of fruit, right? It could contain the egg kind we have here, but it's a little extreme combination. The the ones the one that is more famous is the mosto verde, right? Mosto verde is really really famous because it contains uh, two times the, the, the quantity we normally use of grain, right? So that's why the mosto verde is going to be one of the most expensive one, and it's not really really famous here. Um, I mean in Peru because. When people buy pisco, they want to, you know, have a good time with friends, not something really special. So they, they prefer to buy a pure pisco or maybe a cholado, right? Because it's not that expensive, it's a little cheap. So if you wanna, you know, get drunk with your friends, have a good time, you know, party with your friends, your family, uh, cholado is really good for you. It's, it's enough for you. If you have something special, for example, I don't know, a wedding, uh, graduation, it's better than most of them, all right? It's on you. So guys, do we have questions here? What do you say? No, nope. all right. So now let's go into the best part and let's get drunk, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Please smell your cups because I want you to feel the sweet, right? Smell your cups. Now, this contains 16% of your fat gold. And the name of this drink here is known as a drinks maker, right? Because if you drink this with your couple after nine months, you have a gift. We have two little babies, right? So we have to be really, really careful with it. Right? I think Julia's gonna be so, stocking up on this. Before we drink it, we're going to toast, right? We're going to toast in a traditional order. I'm gonna say a phrase and you're going to repeat it, right? So, of course, the phrase is gonna be in Spanish. Don't worry about it because your Spanish is going to work with that, right? So now, rise the cups, rise the cups, all right? And repeat after me. Arriba. 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 Once more. Arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Aroca. Al centro. Al centro. Pa adentro. Pa adentro. Salud. Salud. Enjoy your drink, guys. Taste the sugar. Mm. That's how you know it's dangerous. <laughs> Okay. Uh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's more of a dessert, man. Yeah. We, we should drink it as a dessert. Yes. Yeah. It's nice. Mm. I think round two is coming. <laughs> yeah. <I think> <laughs> It'd be funny if they had one called the baby maker. <laughs> well, now we have to wait for those two. Round dos. Yeah, it's not for food. It's just uh, if it's like a uh, dessert, for example. It's I agree. Yes. Like a like a pop. Yes. Because I want you to feel the difference in the drink, right? You feel it. Yes. Yeah. It's a little dry, you know, a little bitter. So the name of this is Borgogna, right? Because that's the name of the drink this is made of. But here we call it like the divorce wine. Right? Oh. It's called like that because there is a cooperation in relationships. For example, when a relationship starts, everything is locked and sweet and perfect. Then the time continues, it gets a little drier, it gets a little bitter, sometimes it gets a little toxic. So it's going to be similar here. First, it's going to be sweet, and then it's, it's going to change. It's going to be a little bitter. Right? You're going to feel it. So, this drink is really good for you with red meat, you know, with pork, beef, with something a little heavy. You should feel heavy. This is really good for you because it helps you in the digestion. It also helps you to maintain your skin pretty young and also helps you to lose some weight, so it's pretty good, right? So now, let's rise the cups, rise the cups, and we'll be after me. Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Yo no quería. Yo no quería. Pero Padre Nuestro. Pero Padre Nuestro. Qué rico está esto. Ay, 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 esto. Salud. 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 <laughs> See, he has it now. <laughs> some All right, guys. So, now, it means only very I didn't want to do it, but all learned is the salt thing, right? Ooh, yeah. So, this drink goes with food, right? So you can drink more with this. So, let's go with something. Are you supposed to take the shot of it? Do you have to go back to work or study? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at some point. But the money is... Yeah. Take the whole thing. Which is getting closer and closer. Better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laugh
What, what, what round? What round are we on? Round four. This is also some dry drink. This is a little, a little sweeter than the drink, right? So you can drink this with white meat, for example, some chicken, fish, some salads. It's pretty good for you. And the name of this drink is a reconciliation drink because it helps you to maintain sweetness in your relationship, right? So let's think. We have a phrase here in Inca, actually it's the most famous uh, phrase, so we're going to say it right now, right? Rise the cups, rise the cups, Si hay cabino, si hay cabino, si hay cabino, si hay cabino, y no tomo vino, y no tomo vino, y no tomo pisco, y no tomo pisco, entonces, entonces, a que mierda vino, a que mierda vino, el camino, salud. I think some of you know the meaning of this. <laughs> this means if you came to Ica and you didn't drink wine or pisco, so what the fuck you came? <laughs> I swear I didn't write it, alright? I just read it. <laughs> alright, guys. Very good. We just finished with the kids' level. Now, let's go to drink, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did he just say we finished with a kid's level? <laughs> oh my god. It's clear. It's dangerous. If it's clear, does that mean it's dangerous? Yeah. And of course not as much, so that must be really going to be off your rocker. Oh, you want to pull your stomach? Yeah. Wow. Okay, smell it. What does it smell like? Like acetone. Acetone or rubbing alcohol. This is gonna... Really? Yeah. I don't do that often. <laughs> okay. I did it once in my life. Just, yeah. And it wasn't even back home, just saying. You didn't drink in Ukraine? No. Well, only wine champagne. Oh, Julia's a girl. Okay, yeah. The princess. Uh, you didn't take any shots living in America? In America, I took one shot. Where? Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. Okay. More to come on that. <laughs> Now, we're going to go with Pisco, all right? So we're going to go from 12% of alcohol to 42% of alcohol. It's a little, a little bit more. So, wow, 42%. Now, to drink it, Teresa, I want to drink it, right? I'm going to show you. So first step, you have to move your cup a little bit, three seconds. You got to move, you got to smell. Then you got to breathe in, you maintain the air, and the Pisco goes to your mouth, right? So once it's here, you're going to do this. Going to wash it with the pisco. Three seconds. If you swallow, you breathe out, and at the end, you gotta show me a really beautiful smile to change. You are not dying, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be my signal. Yeah, you put in your mouth, you swish it around for three so, minutes, like mouthwash, and then swallow it. <laughs> we haven't talked yet. You're not able to drink yet. You drunk it. No. <laughs> That's one way to get two shots. Yeah, I know. I'm too full. I don't sleep tonight enough, but I don't know. Don't worry. You're eating on purpose, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Wow. 
Don't take it all at once. That's what he said to do. Don't take it all at once. He said put it in your mouth for three seconds. And... Oh, well, he, he leaves all the important stuff out. Oh, my God. <laughs> he literally just said put it in your mouth for three seconds and take it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Minor details in life. You understand, your mouth is going to burn a little bit, right? Yeah. This is because the quantity of the alcohol of the pistol is staying here. That's a nice trait in the future in summer, right? So this is the way to drink this. Now, guys, I'm going to show you how to drink pistol. My partner is going to show you how to drink pistol, right? Because he's going to show you. Now they're here once every 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to three. One. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Oh, no
You're a wasting alcohol. <laughs> Experience when you can pass that test. Yep. So, uh, did you take what? Huh? <laughs> I don't think. We want to know if they are drunk. We want to know if they are drunk. Shot, 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 Right, and stop. Turn down the cups. One, two, eight. <laughs> See guys, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> I didn't drop anything. <laughs> I, I can see it. It was raining. It's raining. Oh guys. Oh, we can change? It's like gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Burn! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see for them. One, two, and three. We want to know if they are drunk. We want to know if they are drunk. Shut, 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 shut. And stop. Alright, turn down a cup. One, two, and... Professional! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 
years, there are really, really good professionals are drinking. All right, so thank you, thank you for participating. Thank you, thank you. Now, Miguel, now the guy. Now, the guy is going to drink, please come with us. I talk about you. <laughs> now, guys, we're going to go with a dessert, all right? Okay. We did one. Very good, yes. Okay, I'll get this one out. Right. This is coffee. Coffee? Mm. Coffee cream, like Bailey's. Oh, nice. <laughs> Get this with your morning coffee every day. Oh, okay. Definitely have to buy that. Because I have already four of them. That's enough. You know that. By the way, this is a bottle of pisco, right? This contains pisco inside. I think you know when the pisco comes out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. The ones that helps the women in this uh, on the skin, the hair, it has the nails. So it's pretty good for everybody, right? Of course, drinking, you gotta be cold. It's with ice, actually, it's better. So, for example, you can combine this with a lot of ice, milk, and it's like. Um, uh, for example, that's really good. Now, let's rise the cups and rip it up from here. You remember the arriba abajo, right? Yes. We're going to say the same, but in Quechua, the Inca's language, right? So rip it up from here. And do what I do. Which I'm up? Which I'm up? Which I'm up? Which I'm up? Good I'm up? Good I'm up? Good Salute. 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 We sip this one? <laughs> oh yeah, I like that one. You know, that should be pretty good for that one. Put that one with the ice and blend it. I'm gonna give the prices, all right? So wines and pisella cost twenty-five dollars. The cream of pisco, any of them cost. 35 solids. You try the coffee one. We have also coconuts, we have chili moyes, sweet fruit, uh, we have strawberry, we have look map, we have peaches, uh, we have cacao, and uh, we have a lot of it, right? We have different things. You want to try something else? So the, the pisco cost 40 solids, right? So we have pisco acholado, the one you try, we have also quebranta, and also we have coronte, right? There are different kind of piscos. Uh, the bottle is for collections, right? So guys, if you want to buy something, for example this, this contains all you've tried, right? In small bottles, right? You can see all of this. And also we have my friend Pepe, Pepe is right? So Pepe is with Pepe's. <laughs> this is a bottle, all right? As you told me, this, this contains all this is full with pieces, right? So yeah. Alright guys, so if you want to buy something, we're going to be here, alright? If you want to try something else, we're going to be here. Guys, uh, thank you so much for being here with us, you know, it's always a pleasure to be with you. Uh, I always try to do the better for you, right? So that's it for and uh, thank you so much. So this is a drinking game you can have. So it has the grandma on the front. If you don't do it properly, there's the penis in the back. And there's your shot. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think. What do we order, Julia? We ordered um, arroz con pollo, rice with chicken. But it's not just rice. It's somehow like flavored. I was in Korea, but because it's Peruvian. Peruvian rice from uh, Ica. Very nice. All right, we're gonna have lunch first.
Well, this closes our time out here at the vineyards. It's been a great time. We had lunch. It was amazing. Very good, tasty food, as they say. Very tasty. But yes, we're getting back on our bus here in about 10 minutes, and we're going to be going on. And we're going to see you in Moscow. Yes. So make sure you guys continue to watch.